Good morning, kids. It's good to welcome you back here today at Glenridge Bible Church at home. So I hope that you're having a great, great day today. You know, I was just thinking, actually, Mr. Jurgen and I were talking about this when I came to church to do some recording this morning. We were talking about things that are out of the ordinary. And I was thinking, when you grow up, you are going to look back on this time during the COVID-19 pandemic. You're going to look back and say, that was out of the ordinary. You're going to have great stories to tell your kids and your grandkids when you're grown up all about this time that was so different from what we are used to. But I was also thinking about things that stand out in my mind, even from when I was a little girl, things that were out of the ordinary. And I remember them even when I was really little. Let me give you an example. When I was about, I don't know, three or four years old, I was pretty little. And I don't remember very many things from when I was that little. But I had a book of nursery rhymes. And I really, really loved this book of nursery rhymes, except there was one nursery rhyme in this book that scared me. Oh, I was terrified of this nursery rhyme. It really stood out in my mind as being a scary nursery rhyme. And it got to the point where when my mom or dad was going to read me this book of nursery rhymes, I would start to cry as soon as they would pull the book down off the shelf. I did not want any part of that book because it stood out in my mind as being a scary book with a scary nursery rhyme. So my dad had to rip that page out of my book and throw it into the fireplace so that I could see that it was all gone and then it was okay and then I wasn't afraid of that book anymore. But that stands out in my mind as being a scary memory from when I was really little. I have other memories too. I have lots of good memories. I have a memory of a dessert that my mom used to make. I'm sure she still makes it, but I don't live at home anymore, so I don't get to eat it as often as what I would like to eat. There was this delicious ice cream chocolate dessert. Oh, there was this yummy, yummy chocolate in it, and she would toast coconut and butter and sprinkle it on top with some chopped nuts. It was one of my favorite things. And I remember she would make it at Christmas time, and my cousins would come over, and we would eat as much of this dessert as we were allowed and lick our plates afterwards. It stands out in my mind as being a wonderful memory of a very tasty treat. And now I'm hungry, and I want to go and make it. So what kind of things stand out in your mind? Is there anything out of the ordinary that you remember that you really liked? Or maybe it stands out as being not a great memory, but it really stands out in your mind, something you remember. What makes these things pop out in our mind? Well, it's exactly that. They're out of the ordinary. It's not the same as what we get used to. It's something that just says, oh, look at me. I'm a different experience than what you're used to. Well, in the book of Acts, where Pastor Bobby's going to be preaching from today, we are introduced to an out of the ordinary character. He's an important part of the story that we're learning about as we learn about the early church. And his name is Stephen. And we don't read too much about him. You'll find out why. He's only in the book of Acts for a couple of chapters. But we find out right at the beginning in this chapter that Stephen is full of the Holy Spirit and he has lots of wisdom from God. And he stands out and people select him to be one of seven helpers to help in the church. But we also learn that he was a good preacher. He would preach the word of God boldly. And we learn that he would do miraculous signs in the name of Jesus. And he caught the attention of a lot of people, but, you know, probably not in a good way. He was doing good things, but the people, the leaders of the church, they started to get upset about this. Who is this guy? Why is he standing out so much? There's something about this guy. We don't like what he's saying. We don't like what he's doing. And they started to argue with him. But the Bible tells us that Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit, and he could talk back and present his arguments clearly to them. And he was saying the words that God gave him to say. He was a character that stood out. And at the end of the passage, when he's being accused of things that are not true, the Bible tells us that Stephen's face was shining like an angel. Wouldn't you say that that's out of the ordinary? Doesn't that stand out? You know, there's two other times that I can think of in the Bible where people's faces shone like an angel. 
One is when Moses went up on Mount Sinai and he came down and he was holding the Ten Commandments. He had been in the presence of God and the Bible tells us his face was shining. And then another time was when we read about Jesus going up onto the mount and during the transfiguration and we're told that Jesus shone, his face shone. And here we have Stephen in the early church. His face is shining even though people are accusing him of lying and saying terrible things. It's interesting. Stephen was out of the ordinary. We're going to find out more about the plan that God had and how God used Stephen to bring about great things in the church, things that even today we can learn from. And I'm going to pray for all of us too, that God would use this out of the ordinary time to make us grow in our faith, to help us to grow in wisdom, to help us to grow in our love for God's word so that we spend time reading it. Because no doubt Stephen was full of the Holy Spirit and full of wisdom because he loved God and he spent so much time talking to God and learning about the Lord Jesus. So let's talk to Jesus right now. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for your word. We thank you for how you long to work in our hearts and in our lives. We thank you for the story of the early church and how it grew and how it grew stronger and it spreads around the world. And even today, we are gathered together this morning because your message has gone out through the whole world and we were able to hear about it and believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Thank you for all of the ways that you work in ordinary ways and in extraordinary ways. I pray that you would use this time right now that we find ourselves in to help us to grow in our love and in our knowledge of who you are. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, boys and girls, have a great day today, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.